Hey guys, can you guess what is a label? I'm sure most of you might have thought of these labels. Most of us prefer to have our favorite cartoon character picture on the label where we can write our information like name, grade, school name and so on to identify whose book it is. A label has two parts. One is static whose value doesn't change and other is dynamic whose value changes. For example, let's take a look at this label. Here, can you guess which part is static and which part is dynamic? Well, the categories here stating name, grade and school are static. It is common in all the labels. Whereas, the categories stating Jane, 5th grade and QT school are dynamic since it varies from person to person. Similarly, in Code to Play, there is a component called Label which is used to display the text onto the screen. You can find the label under the User Interface in the Palette section. If you drag and drop it onto the viewer and rename it to the IR value under the Components and Properties. This label will behave as Static Label. Now in place of Jane, we add another label to display the IR value either true or false. To do that, we'll drag and drop another label onto the viewer and rename it as IR status under the components by choosing the component and clicking the rename option. Then under properties, leave the text box as blank. When the value has been given from the block interface, the label will help in displaying the value of the IR sensor. For example, we use the code set IR status dot text to call IR sensor one dot get IR value. Here, the label IR status will display the value of IR sensor which is either true or false.